Okay, making a video here today to show you how to load new paper, a new ribbon, into our printers. This is the High T P525L, and we also have the uh, High T P520L. They're basically the same as far as loading the paper and the ribbon. Uh, so, what you have here, I always leave it uh, turned on when I'm putting in new paper. Uh, if you have a jam up, it's probably best there's a flip to flip this switch off on the back, the bottom, uh, right? There's a switch down there. If you do have a jam up and uh, you don't turn off the switch, this may not want to open for you. So, but for the most part, I leave it turned on. Uh, and there's little lights in here that'll tell you some when your paper's in the right position. So first, we're going to remove uh, the paper catcher. Uh, that's just hanging on this. piece of a little drawer type thing the papers fall in there uh, this just hangs right on here so when we put it back we hang that on there and pop that in so I'll show you that now to open it is this button right here you push that button it's probably a good idea to hold back here uh, because this you do need to push it firmly and uh, just like this take your thumb push it firmly you can see that came open. It says cover, open, pull down. See the lights are on because I left the power on. And there you can see your ribbon and your paper. And I'll try and zoom in a little bit. Just so I can, there. All right. Uh, these are not used up yet. I just loaded this. I think uh, I, I had a short event. We only did about 100 or so images. Uh, but for the sake of showing you how this works, I'm going to pull these out. They pop out. Uh, this is your take-up spool. This is the new ribbon. And it's just spring-loaded little snaps where they pop in. Let me see if I can show you on here. The top one has a big cylinder type. And the bottom one has this small peg that comes out. So that makes it so that you can't put these in wrong. They only fit one way. So we'll set them up here for now, uh, just for the sake of showing you. Uh, when your paper runs out, um, you or jams or whatever, you, you can pull this backward. I'm pushing this green part of the gear side here and unrolling the paper. You can see it coming up. There we go. If you did have a jam up, and let me grab a scissors. Say this got ripped, something, you know, I just cut a nice straight line across there. And we keep these scissors with your photo booth, so. There we go. So when you're reloading it, it'll fit right in there. But for the sake of the video here, we're pretending that the last uh, that we just had an event and we're reloading the, the paper. Of course, when you take this out at an event and it's out of paper, all this will be gone. There will be nothing left except just a little bit down at the end. And uh, so when you get your new roll, you'll see these little deals. This has got two slots here and one slot here. Same over here, two slots, one slot. They only fit, these, these rolls only have the slots to fit the green on one side. And the black, you can see it on there, is just two here and two little ones side by side there. So they'll only fit on this roll of paper one way. So you can't go wrong. The DJ's playing the music loud, it's dark, you can't see what you're doing. Well, luckily these only fit in one way. That's what, that's the way they made this. All right, got them both on now. Now this will only fit into the machine one way. You can see this green here. That goes with the green roller and the black goes on this side. So they just, once you get the paper on there, it just drops in. Push it in and there's nothing to it. It doesn't really snap or anything. It just sets in there. All right, now we're gonna run the paper in. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see the little guides here. 
right in front of these as well it says six inch and five inch that's for the width of the roll we're running six inch at photo booth events unless there's a special situation and i'm seeing a little bit of wrinkling here i don't know if i did that while i was loading it i'm gonna cut that off just in case you don't know that might cause a, a problem when it's there we go all right, so you put your paper right in front of the guides. There's a silver bar that runs back here. Put it right between the bar and the guides. Let's push it down. You'll see it coming out. Now, here's the neat part. When you're at an event and it's loud and you can't see what's going on or here, there's a little blue light that'll come on here when you get this into the, driven far, far enough down. There you go. Once you see the blue light, you can stop. All right, so now we load up your rolls of film. You can see the used end here. It's got some images already on it from the last event, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna pop this one in the bottom. They snap in. And that bottom one fits into some gears right over here, so we don't want to turn that, we don't want to force it. The top one spins free until you close the unit. And right now, I'm just tightening up the roll. And you'll see where it just sets down in this spot right over here, it just sets down in there. Same with over here, it's got a little snap. There you go. Now, if you were fixing a jam, Say this ribbon broke, um, you literally just take some scotch tape and tape that together. Uh, cut that or, you know, get a, a nice even edge. Take a couple pieces of scotch tape. Why don't I show you? All right. Say this broke. It ripped. It jammed up, whatever. There you go. Take a little bit off, unroll that a little bit. Pop that back in. Piece of scotch tape. <clears throat> right here. And then right on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just needs to pull through. Piece of scotch tape. Looks kind of messy right now, but get that tape on there. All you gotta do is just get it to pull through. Then you tighten this top one up, see? Make sure your tape's not hanging off somewhere, getting caught somewhere it's not supposed to. All right, so I want that to roll up there. I'm gonna pull this out, let a little more slack come out, pop that back in. There we go. <clears throat> a little more slack, if you please. Okay. You can see I just released the gear in. I left this end in, and then I can turn this. And I just want to get clean, clear ribbon, everything clean, no tape, no problem, you know, just nice and clean. Okay, so that's the way I would do it at an event. That's the way you should do it. Okay, so now you're ready to close it. When we close it, just bring it up gently and you'll feel it hits a certain spot here. I hold the back of this and you just push firmly. All right, now it's gonna run through a cycle and it's gonna print out four pieces of paper. There we go. And that's it says media checking up here it won't show up on the camera all right now we're going to pop in our tray this is this catches the cut pieces in between the strips this fits in uh, i put the bottom in first and make sure you get it all straight there it just pops in these fold up when you're 
loading up. All right, so that is it. Let's uh, let's do a test print. So we gotta hook up to the computer here. All right, hitting test print. Now, if you're at an event, you may not do a test print like I'm doing, but we use the Breeze software, DSLR Pro Remote, and you can go into uh, the setup area, and there's an area there that says print test prints, but there's your test prints that proves the ribbon and everything is correct. Um, you can take a look at this if you want during an event right now. It'll just say printer ready. There's a uh, menu button right here. Push it once. It tells how many prints you have on this, the life of this printer. Push it twice. It'll tell you how many prints you've used uh, off your roll. So right now, this printer only has 143 prints. The second time I pressed it, 356 out of 500 prints are left. So that roll that we just put in has 356 prints left. So that's it. I uh, hope I didn't confuse you and uh, have fun.